What's up guys, back with another video. And today, like I said in the last video, I will be uh, painting the, the front bumper cover, or not front bumper cover, but like the, uh, you know, the support beam back there. And um, back here behind the fog light grills. So um, definitely stay tuned and uh, show you what she's looking like before, I guess. So that's what she's looking like before. You can see all of the, uh, all the white and all the, all the silver back behind there. Doesn't look too great, uh, so we're definitely gonna get that black, and it should definitely uh, clean her up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. So, alrighty. So the first thing we gotta do is get this bumper off of here. So I know that there is two bolts back behind here. So there's a, a bolt down right here, and I'll try to get a little bit better angle. And then there's uh, another one right up just behind the uh, the bumper here. So those are T20s. You have to undo those to get to the. Um, bolts that are holding in the bumper directly to the front, I guess. Um, so I will go ahead and uh, turn the wheel here and then we will start getting this bumper off. All right, so we're now gonna start getting these screws off of here. That one right here, then right here. Pull the fender liner back, get those two bolts back uh, behind there. So stay tuned and we'll get right with it. somewhere that you won't lose them. Alright, so now there's two 10 millimeter bolts back there, so we'll go ahead and get those off of there. Underneath the bumper, hold it on. Well, not the skid plate, whatever you want to call it. I set something to lay on. All right, so now we got out all of the uh, those torque 20 bolts. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood, and then there's a few more things to unscrew up there. And we'll turn the wheel back the other way and uh, take off this other. Uh, these other two side bolts that are holding on the uh, the right side of the car here. So. All right. So there's a couple more bolts we got to get off. Got one here, one here, one here, and one here. And that's gonna pull off this little um, radiator cover. It's a, it's a T25. section of the bumper on so I have to get those off of there. Liner off here. I don't even think I have those screws in there, so go ahead and get the uh, 
pull the fender liner back and get those two bolts off there. And then we can pull the bumper off and get some paint on her. Start to uh, pull this front bumper off. I'll leave this right here. Should be a pretty good angle. Now I'll kind of cover up everything and uh, clean this off. Use a little bit of uh, you can use sandpaper, scotch uh, bright, whatever, just to get some stuff on there so that way the paint has somewhere to stick. Uh, we'll go ahead and clean this off. Alright, just gonna tape off the headlight. So I want some super fine, uh, what do you call this, uh, sanding sponges. Don't need too many scratches. Just needed something for the, uh, for the paint to stick on, so. I think she's about good. I'll go ahead and uh, spray her down, clean her off, and then paint. So we'll let it dry up um, and then I'll start prepping the bumper here. All right, so for the fog light grill, really all you have to do to get it off is uh, just pull it out. No kind of, no screws in there, nothing like that. So um, start with the corners maybe and kind of gently pull her out. So we've got one over here, one over here, and then it's just kind of clamped in there. So. We'll go ahead and start getting that pulled off. All right, so we're almost done taping up this right side here. I'm gonna throw a few more pieces in a few more spots, and um, I think we should be good. To All right, she is now taped off, so we'll go ahead and get some more cleaner on there. and. Uh, Wipe her off and we'll put the paint. Alright, so she should be all dry now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this tape off here and then start putting her back together so we can get her back on the car. Boom, all the tape is gone, so now I just gotta put the uh, fog light back in there, um, and then put the grill back on it, and then get her back on the car. Alrighty, so she's all buttoned back up, so we will throw the grill, we'll throw the bumper back on the car and 
get everything screwed up. So basically, with the bumper, you'll want to make sure you pull this all the way back on this little rivet right here, whatever you want to call it. Pull all the way back behind this part. That way, it's fully on the bumper. Um, if it doesn't, it will never, it will never close. So gotta make sure that's pulled all the way back. Definitely a good move. All right, guys, so just finished up the car. Uh, she's looking pretty good, so I'll go ahead and give you that uh, that final look. Definitely much better. Um, you can kind of see the gloss through there, the gloss black, uh, but that's definitely much better than when the chrome was um, shining through there, so I'll take that any day, night and day difference. And over here behind the uh, fog light grill, that's even better. Um, Definitely very happy with those results. I would highly recommend you do that if you um, get the honeycomb grills on your S5. Um, yeah, if you have white paint, silver paint, anything um, of lighter complexion, I would highly recommend that you uh, get in there and black out everything. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely super happy with that. Uh, long overdue, should have done that a long time ago, but there she goes. She has finally finished up. Oh. That is all for this video. I've got a couple things coming up for you in the uh, in the next couple of weeks, so definitely stay tuned. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.